In this video we're going to talk about how to find a quadratic equation if you already know the solutions. So before we do that, I would like to go through uh, an example where you're finding the solutions because finding the quadratic equation when you're given the solutions is basically uh, this process backwards. All right, so let's say we've got x squared plus 7x plus 10. We'll just do a fairly easy one to factor, equals 0. Okay, so here we have a quadratic equation with integer coefficients, and we are going to find the solutions. This video is going to cover the idea of what if we're given the solutions, how do we go backwards and find the equation? All right, so to find the solutions of this equation, we would factor it. So what multiplies to be 10 and adds to be 7 would be 2 and 5, positive 2 and positive 5. And of course, we could have made this a little more difficult by making the factoring tougher, but I just want to get, I just want to get the steps on the screen and show the process. So now we're going to set each factor equal to 0 using the zero product property. If two things multiply together to be 0, then certainly either the first um, factor has to be 0 or the second factor has to be 0. Well, if the first factor is 0, that would mean that the x value is negative 2. If the second factor is 0, that would mean that the x value is negative 5. Okay, so there's the solutions. So now, the focus of the video is, what if I know the solutions and I want to write the quadratic equation? So in other words, I tell you that the solutions are and let's put a fraction in there. Let's say the solutions are 2 thirds and negative 5. Now we have negative 5 there. Let's do negative 3. All right, so we're going to block this off. So what we want to think about, we have this over here on the right because we want to think about how did we get the solutions if we knew the equation because we're going to do the same exact process backwards. So right now we know the solutions. We're at this step and we want to go backwards. Okay, so how do we get to this step right here? Well, we subtracted the 5 from both sides to get to solve for x, but the step before we were equal to 0. See, each factor was equal to 0. So that's exactly what we want to do over here, all right? We want to undo that process. So we're going to subtract this 2 thirds from both sides and make it equal to 0 again, and we're going to add 3 to both sides and make it equal to 0. So now we've got x minus 2 thirds equals 0 and x plus 3 equals 0. So now we're, we're at this step. See, working backwards. One thing I want to make a point of right now is the directions do tell us that we want to write the quadratic equation with integer coefficients. So remember, integers are basically your non-fraction numbers, positive or negative. So this is the way you could write out the integers, dot, dot, dot. See, we have a fraction here. We don't really want that fraction because we want our answer to just have integers. So the way to get rid of that fraction is to multiply by the least common denominator here, which is 3, or the denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by 3 to clear the fractions. So that's going to give me 3x minus, and when I take this 3 times 2 thirds, the 3's are going to cancel, so I'm just going to have 2 equals 0. All right, so now I've got 3x minus 2 equals 0 and x minus 3 equals 0. Now I want to go to the step before. What did we do before that? Well, we had the two factors multiplied together to be 0. So I have 3x minus 2 equals 0 and x minus 3 equals 0. Well then, 3x minus 2, if 3x minus 2 equals 0 and x plus 3 equals 0, then certainly those two things multiplied together would equal 0. See, now we're on this step right here. We're almost to the top. To get to the next step, all we have to do is FOIL those two binomials together. So we get 3x times x, 3x times 3, negative 2 times x, and negative 2 times 3, and then we can combine our like terms and we have a quadratic equation right here. If we were to solve this quadratic equation like we did on the right, 
we would come up with the answers x equals two-thirds and x equals negative three because we would just do this process backwards. We'd take the equation, we'd factor it, we'd set each factor equal to zero, and we'd solve for x. Okay, so if you know the solutions and you want to find the equation, you just basically do the process backwards. Hopefully that helps.